everybody see here welcome back to some more satisfactory so today today i want to get this sent i want to get this sent i want to get this unlocked and i want to get it done i want to get to the next part because there's trains in the next part i know super exciting so uh if you guys missed it last episode we worked on a bus and uh yeah it started it's a thing we have a bus line started we're ready to do our things we're ready to do our stuff we're ready to move things from point a to point b it's going to be exciting now also shenanigan server is happening uh at the time release this video today at 1 p.m central standard time so make sure you're part of the discord i'll ping everybody with a uh with an ip address we'll all join up we'll all have a good time hang out do the things do the stuff now i not i'm not 100 sure on the map yet so because i want to be i want people to be able to like build stuff and do stuff uh so we're kind of working on that bit but there is a chance that i might actually upload this save to that server so that way we act you know we at least have something to work with and then basically shenanigans from there so if you want a chance to play with us i'm trying to get as many people online as one at one time as possible um yeah and then possibly play on a save we record we have a good time and just shenanigans all around i can't wait i want to see what we can do as a community as a whole bunch of people what can we get done it'd be amazing it'd be exciting but yes let's get rocking and rolling so hopefully you guys would enjoy the video if you do maybe consider leaving a like and if you think i earned it maybe consider subscribing as well for some more so uh we need to get in order to get that stuff unlocked we got to get motors and stators going uh wait motors and stators yes motors and stators we gotta get motors and stators going so we're gonna do that very first thing and then we're gonna set up the stuff to get the smart plating going we're gonna set up the stuff to get the other things going and uh it's gonna be a good time i'm excited i really want to unlock the trains i'm like i'm so excited for trains you have no idea so what do we need for these guys uh pipes and wires pipes and wires so let's go ahead and let's do this um organization no logistics oh you know what i probably oh i do have stuff for it okay let's get let's see here i like these to be like half a thing away so let's put one here and let's run one here perfect and then let's go ahead and get a conveyor belt in here as well and then we'll get these guys hooked up so that way we can start the production process all right our staters are rocking and rolling look at that boom we're done we i know we did a thing we did a thing okay so now um these will be running pretty good for a little while so they're making five per minute so we're gonna get five to 15 we're gonna get 20 per minute for now gonna let those pile up we're gonna go ahead and get these hooked up now we need rotors and staters for these guys so let's go ahead and let's bring down a rotors so we're gonna need organization no logistics right yes and then we're gonna need to do this whole port thing again um let's have this one like i don't know let's just have this one like right here maybe and then conveyor lift mark three let's see what are the odds that that lined up nope hey there we go okay so there's that one um are we gonna be able to clear this okay perfect and then we'll get that going let me go ahead and get this all hooked up and then we'll go up top and then we'll set up everything to be good to go let's see this is one off oh these are one off oh well that's fine i don't care so you know what i just realized i can actually so if i want the belt to go this way i can actually click right onto there and bring it down however if i want to go up i have to start from here and then go up actually no if we had a belt going the other way we could connect that hmm this might actually be easier to hook these um these ports up than i thought all right sorry enough of that let's continue on let's get these built let's get this happening all righty our rotors are right here so let's go ahead and let's get ourselves a uh, splitter rotors are right there let's see is that is that actually lined up right there oh nice okay and then let's go ahead and get conveyor mark three bring her down there conveyor lift mark three click on oh oh hey what are you doing like that belt there there all right rotors are being brought in see this is why it's nice to have the bus like once you set it up it's just very tedious to build so now we should be making motors as well Ooh, exciting exciting now the question here is actually are we gonna be pulling more 10 oh we need 20 staters per minute that's actually making 20 staters per minute um and then that's gonna make us a total of five motors per minute okay so that's rock and roll that's doing its thing it's, i know it's dark i'm sorry here let me turn my flashlight on there is that better <laughs> lights up the center of the screen all right so now we need to get all that smart stuff going so let's get our assembler out uh, i don't have i need some of these guys i need some rotors 
Okay, so assembler, what do we need for this smart stuff? Smart plating, versatile framework, automated. Wow, we don't even need motors. Hold on a second. We're actually gonna turn these off because we need, uh, we actually need the motors. <laughs> or not the motors, we need the stators. We actually need the stators. So I don't need motors right now. We're not gonna worry about that. We'll get those clicked on later. Um, okay, so we need stators and cable, frame and beam, and then plates. Okay, all right. So how, do, where are we gonna set this up? Where are we gonna set this up at here? Let's see here. We got this floor. You know what? I don't, we're not using floor. We're not using the floor above the copper yet. Right there. We're also not using the floor above the smelters. We might actually throw this. Hmm. Okay, well that's all in that room right there. I unhooked it up. We should we should go hook that back up. Um, frames and beams, stagers and cables. How many do I need? I need a hundred, five hundred, and five hundred. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I think what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put these in crates. We're gonna we're gonna set this up temporarily. We're gonna set it up temporarily. Let's do this. Let's go. Um, we're gonna go to the second floor here. But I need, I need some rotors. Let's go grab some rotors. Holy moly. Uh. Wow. Oh, you know what? They're all upstairs because I have another storage upstairs. That's where they're at. I was like, where did these things go? Uh, oh, this is going to be the first time we actually need to increase our production on stuff. Because like this server's been running all day and that's still not even full. That's crazy. Uh, no, third floor. All right, let's go into here. I'm guessing it's, yeah, they're all gonna be in one of these containers. Yeah, I can't believe they're not already full. Holy moly. Okay, that container's full. Like that one's still not full. Wow. Oh, it's because this one also filled up that container over there. Oh yeah, there's, we have a lot of rotors. <laughs> we have a lot of them. Okay, so assembler, you know what? Let's go and grab a couple of these. And then let's go ahead and hit set these machines up here. So we need a total of three machines. Let's go set those up on floor two above the copper for now. Temporary setup. Now, I know people are gonna be like, oh no, don't do a temporary setup because you're needed later. I know, but for now, for the sake of getting things done and for the sake of getting the trains going, we're gonna make this a temporary setup because it is what it is. All right, so let's do uh, one here. We're just going to place these wherever. I'm not really that worried about it. One there. What, we got like three foundations in betwixt? Um, this one doesn't line up. Oh, 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 oh. And there. Okay, cool. So, smart plating. Uh, versatile framework. And automated wiring. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to get a container. I'm going to get a regular size container for these guys. And I'm literally just going to run these in through a container. So we're going to have one there. Oh, that one's not going to line up perfectly. We can't, we can't do that. If we're going to do it, if we're going to cheap out and do it, if we're going to do it the cheaty way, um, one there, one there. Wait, this one's lined up now and this one's not, I don't even care. It's fine. I just need to get these things going so we can actually, uh, get our next stuff on. All right, we're good. Okay, so we need, let's go ahead. I'm gonna clear out my inventory. We're gonna bring things over here. We're just gonna throw it into storage. Uh, and then that will, I think this is probably gonna be the fastest way to like automate this stuff for now until, unless we like decide to hook up everything. But I just don't think it's worth it because as soon as we're done with the space elevator, like we're done, we don't need this stuff ever again. Okay, so all these machines are up and running. Uh, it is gonna take a little while though, because I mean, this is the fastest producing one. It's five per minute. So we'll have those in no time. Well, 100 minutes, I guess, if we get 500. <laughs> uh, but these guys, we only need 100 of, so that's not terrible. But the one that's actually kind of awful is the smart plating. Because this is only two per minute. Um, so I'm thinking we're going to have to... Uh, I'm thinking we're, we need to split this off and have another machine in here. Never mind, because I don't have anything. Um, yeah. Because that's going to take a while. Because I was going to kind of le leave this and come back to it and then hopefully it'll all be done. But I think, well, hold on a second. I also need to make sure that I have enough materials in here for these guys. So 
one modular frame and 12 steel beam gives us two versatile framework we need 500 versatile framework so that means we need 500 times 12 which is a lot oh wait hold on here we go 500 12 6 000. oh my god <laughs> Uh, how much do I have in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 stacks. So we don't have enough in here. So I'm going to have to come back and check on these, add more. Uh, but that's okay because we have them being made. We have them doing the things. We have them doing stuff. Now we can kind of let these things do their thing. Um, now the staters on here, that's actually all the staters I have currently because we just set that up. So let's pop back over there and see if we have some more stairs. We should be getting 20 per minute, I think, now. So we should have a couple more. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 132. Heck, yeah. Let's go throw those in there, too. Okay. So those are thrown in there. We should be good. Honestly, that this this automated wiring <laughs> is actually the easiest one because we only need 100 of them. So that'll be done in no time. Now, do I have any power slugs? So hold on. Let's take all this stuff back. And let's take this guy out of here because I don't need that. Do I have any power slugs chilling? Oh, we found we found a power slug somewhere. I guess not. Hmm. How's my power situation looking? Okay. Ooh, our max concurrent like consecutive powers. Ooh, we're getting close. We're getting close to our ceiling. We might have to start working on power eventually too. Um. Okay. Let's see. Space elevator. We can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with these. We're kind of just at a standstill for now. Waiting for these to get done. And then once those are done, we'll... Uh... Oh, this is going to be nice. Actually, you know what? I need to leave my inventory clear because I'm going to have to add more as we go. So I'm going to let these machines run. I'll check on them periodically. And then uh, in a matter of seconds for you, we'll be back and we'll have the stuff that we need for the space elevator. Alrighty, we're getting close. We are literally, I came back at like the perfect time because we are literally three away from having all the stuff that we need. So let's go ahead. Let's clear out our inventory real quick and let's get these things moved over and let's get our phase two finished. And then we're going to see what we need for trains because I want the train so bad. Okay, so we need a hundred of these. We accidentally made a little bit more, but you know what? We're going to throw those into the resource sink. Actually, oh man, that might not be a good idea. Yeah, we'll throw them into the resource sink. Why not? And then we'll uh, we'll get some tickets, and then we'll uh, basically redo all this. Um, oh my gosh, we did it. We have all of them. We have everything that we need. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Now, can I access you? Oh, here we go. All those. All those. And all those. Oh, seal it and send it. This is always a momentous occasion. Sealed. Send. Here we go. Oh my gosh. And... Come on. Boop. We're done, skis. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We need 2,500 versatile framework. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. Come on, is tier three unlocked? What's up? What's, what's, oh, oh, it, didn't, it doesn't say anything. Okay, so tier five, oil processing, industrial manufacturing, alternative fluid transport, gas mask, pipeline, monorail technology. Oh my gosh, we need computers. Ext expanded power infrastructure. Fuel generator consumes fuel to generate electricity for the power grid. Oh, there's our fuel generator. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, conveyor belt mark four, which requires, I think in case industrial beam, uh, conveyor lift mark four, scanner update, caterium, or we've got jet pack, inventory slots, monorail, pipeline mark twos. What else? Oil processing. Oh my gosh. We got so much stuff going on. Uh, industrial manufacturing. Oh, we need computers so bad because that's what we need for, uh, that's what we need for the trains packager all the liquid transporting stuff and then a gas mask oh my goodness it is time uh so it looks like we're gonna have to start with oil processing and then work into industrial manufacturing in order to get the computers unlocked and then for monorail technologies we're gonna need this one so oh my gosh we have so much stuff to get done in order to get trains going oh i wanted to get trains going but 
it's gonna be a little bit of a process so um yes there you have it oh this is nice i am so excited and hopefully you all have had a fantastic time now like i said we are doing the shenanigan server so we want as many people there as possible make sure you're part of the discord join the link down below and we're gonna get this rock and roll we're gonna see if we can set um i guess maybe set a new record i don't know what the record somebody said the record for like a recorded like people on a server is like 47 so if we could beat that that would be amazing um i'd like to get over 100 i think that'd be amazing but i think we're gonna end up playing on my save i think i'm gonna upload this save to the shenanigan server just so we have things unlocked so we have things going oh this is so exciting it's so exciting but that is gonna end it thank you so much for coming out hopefully you had a fantastic time i had an absolutely wonderful time and in the next episode the next episode should be um might be some shenanigan stuff so we'll see we'll see but uh yeah have a wonderful rest of your day i'll see you next time